Bay, away you go. Uh, Thomas, first of all, what kind of game are you expecting it to be tomorrow? Do you think it will be very tense and very uh, tactical? And where do you think it will be won and lost? For me, I expect more or less the same match like in Bucharest against Atletico. They have uh, Trippier, Jimenez and uh, Carrasco back. That uh, changes uh, that changes a little bit the structure, a little bit the style of attacking because it uh, gives them the freedom to, to attack with Carrasco and, and Trippier on the side and, and uh, have maybe Lemar, but for sure Lorente available on the half position. The, that changes a bit the, the approach to this game. Um, but in general, I expect more or less the same. Uh, a, a team which is hard to play against, a team that which is hard to find uh, spaces behind the lines and behind the last lines and, and for sure super hard to create chances. Um, and it's the same uh, big uh, big challenge for us, like, like in the first leg, but we did an amazing match there and uh, we want to repeat the same performance to be able to go through. We know how hard it is to beat uh, Atletico, but this is exactly our time. Nizar Kinsella. Hi, Thomas. I uh, okay. wanted to ask you, your defence has been, um, you know, credited with their performances lately, but, um, you know, you've got three defenders with their contracts running down a little bit. Um, what's your stance on getting involved in, in contract decisions with Christensen, Rudiger and Thiago Silva in the future? Well, first of all, this is uh, maybe the, the, the worst moment to talk about because it's one day for, for a big match, an important match. We, of course, we know everybody knows about, the, like you say, the situation of the three players. All three players performed on a super high level, very, very reliable. This is the most important. And from there on, we will take the decisions in the club and then we will communicate when the decision is taken. But it's not, it's not a secret, and it's obvious that that all three performed uh, outstanding. And Thiago is missing now since since many weeks, unfortunately, which is uh, too long because we miss him a lot. But uh, Andreas and and Tony did a fantastic job so far, and we have to keep on going like this, and then the rest will will, will be solved. Diego Plaza. Unmute yourself, Diego. Unmute yourself. Okay. Sí, ahora sí. Eh, Diego, Diego Plaza del Chiringuito. Eh, ¿Le sorprendió la actitud que aquí en España se interpretó como excesivamente defensiva del Atlético de Madrid, sobre todo cuando se suponía que aunque fuese en Bucarest, en el partido de ida jugaban en casa? Le espero una the, uh, first leg. Are you expecting a much more offensive performance from Atletico this this game? Well, I believe that every club has its uh, DNA and every club has, has its characteristic. And with Diego Simeone, Atletico became one of the toughest team uh, to beat in Europe over years and years and years. So this is their characteristic. They, they rely on a disciplined, hardworking, super organized defense. At the same time, they have incredible uh, quality uh, in, in to, to attack and to, to play also a possession game. For me, it's a very complete complete squad and you have to be aware of everything. They are able to, to press high, they are able to defend low, they are able to play ball possession. But in most of the games, they, they rely on a, on a, on a, on a hard-working defense. So this is the characteristic of the club. This is the characteristic of, of the coach. I don't think that the result from 1-0 changes too much in, in the approach in the beginning of the game. And then all the teams have to adapt to the questions that are asked. And it, it can change within seconds. We know it like it is in football. One, one goal can change everything. One decision from the, from the referee, a bit, of, uh, a bit of luck or a bit of uh, no luck can, can change the, the whole momentum. And uh, we need to be uh, we need to be aware of, of everything, and we need to be very very focused, very concentrated on us, and still be ready to to adapt to all situations. This is the challenge on, on this level and against a, a team like Atletico. James Watson. 
Hi, Thomas. Hi. Uh, I know it's very early in your Chelsea career, but I just wonder how conscious you are of the importance of getting silverware uh, in terms of ensuring that you're here for the long term, if you like. And also, if you were to beat Atletico Madrid, one of the best teams, hardest teams in Europe, would that, in your mind, prove that Chelsea could actually win this whole competition? Every team that plays the second leg in a quarter, uh, in, in, in a round of 16, can, can, is there to win the competition. There is no doubt about it. Um, both teams can win the competitions. Every team in the last 16 can win the competition. This is uh, proven in the last years. And uh, this, is, uh, this is how we respect the competition. And this is what, what, what we are in for. We are in for to win this game. And it uh, helps. It does not help to think, to think more than, than than only this one game. Uh, uh, if I'm aware to bring in a silverware, yeah, of course, I'm here to win games and to 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 push the team into the right momentum that that the players are uh, com competing as a team and that this team can can win games in consecutive games. This is my job. And, you're you're never you're, you know you're never safe never totally safe as a coach this is a given we we won some silverware in in France and still it came to an end so we I cannot lose my head about this I feel very happy I can just uh, repeat the, the 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 status for me and myself I feel very happy and I'm very grateful to be part of this club it feels. Um, um, it's very natural to be here, and uh, I feel as a, as a big part of, of, of also of the team. I like how the team plays. I like how we fight together and how we compete together. And this is what we will do. And uh, if we do it like we did it so far, every three every three um, days, we are able to win games uh, consecutive. And, and this is what we this is what I'm here for. So I get I need to get my job done, and the players need to get their job done. And I have to put them in, in the right mindset and in the right uh, in the right um, flow and the right momentum, and to to choose and to make important decisions. And from there on, they go. And uh, this is what we do. And, Hopefully we can continue like this, but there is no no need to hold us back. Matt Law, Daily Telegraph. Hi, Thomas. You okay? Yeah. Um, can I first of all just check whether you have any injuries for for tomorrow night? And also, you obviously have Jorginho and Mason Mount suspended. Yeah. Um, they've scored six of your thirteen goals in your twelve games so far. So I wonder whether that, that is a worry for the, the goal scoring for, for tomorrow night. Yeah, a little bit, of course. We, it's uh, two, two key players for us, um, especially also Mason for, for his offensive um, skills and his, uh, his power offensive-wise to break the lines with dribblings with shots. But... You know, it's a small line between argumentation and, and excuse. You know this very well. So they were important players so far. And we have a group with which we, we compete in, in this competition. And so now is the challenge to adapt and to find solutions. Um, and because it's obvious that we need to play without the two guys. We also need to play without Thiago Silva and uh, Tammy Abraham. Um, no more injuries. Uh, no more injuries. Yeah, so we miss four players. That makes the that makes the selection easy because we can choose 20, 20 few players, and uh, we will use the whole squad. And we can we can do five substitutes during a match. And uh, yeah, we have we have uh, we have a, a clear idea of what we want to do and how we want to. Uh, how we want to create chances, but we are very aware that uh, Atletico is one of the teams to give away the fewest chances in, in all Europe. So it can be, it's very likely that we have to be patient and, and uh, play with intensity at the same time and to keep this level constantly going. This is uh, the key for tomorrow. Nick Pure. Hi Thomas, um, just on Tammy and, and Thiago, uh, do you have, a, are you any closer to knowing when they they might be back um, well, fit. Well, with a national break now coming, uh, I, I think I don't take too much risk when I say after the national break they will be they will be rejoining. This is the clear point. 
Alistair McGowan. Hi, Thomas. Um, you spoke on Saturday a little bit about how you think your strikers could score more goals from a technical point of view. Yeah. I just wondered whether they would benefit from a consistency of selection to boost their confidence. Yeah, maybe. 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 And uh, this then is clearly my fault and I, I take this responsibility for, 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 also for changing. But at the same time, you know, if we put a goalkeeper in goal, we expect them also to perform in this very match. And uh, if we if we put the defensive lineup, we expect the lineup to play with a clean sheet in the first match, and not only every three matches. Um, it, if you arrive in elite level football, if you arrive on the highest level, if you play for Chelsea, there is no time. There is no time to perform. The time it it simply does not exist, and you're constantly in a in a competition with other players in your team on a friendly and a very respectful basis, but there is no time. We, there, there is no time to get four, five, six matches in a row until, until you, are, you can score regularly. You, there is, this simply does not exist. And this is, um, this is, uh, this is not a secret, this is, this is a given. And so we're trying to put them in a, in a, in a good mindset. We are, we are pushing them. They, um, we are working hard against the ball with, with the whole team. So this is also, this is also a point. Uh, yeah, we, we did some changes because we needed to adapt and the results are not so crazy bad that we should now uh, ask ourselves like, like if we do everything wrong here in the team also. We create enough touches in the box. We create enough chances and half chances to win games. And we had by far enough chances and half chances and touches in the box in leads and deliveries in leads to win this game com uh, very comfortable with, with two goals ahead. This is no problem. But we need to be more precise. We need to, we need, we need to focus better on our decision making and on the te technique, how to finish. And these are, these are the points where, where we work on and where our strikers are very aware of that and, and they have the, the highest the highest uh, demands of themselves and uh, there we are not pointing fingers nobody no, just to make this clear we we inside here in Cobham we blame nobody for nothing but we speak out the the points very clearly what we do where, where we are good and what, what we can improve and we can clearly improve in, in finishing Point. okay last two questions Moose and then Andy Gillen to finish Moose hi Thomas how are you hi um, it's kind of the two questions in one, really. First of all, big advantage playing at the bridge tomorrow because Liverpool and Man City both had to play their home games away in Europe. And secondly, do you consider yourselves one of the favourites to win the whole tournament with Juventus out and Barcelona out? Even if I would answer that question, yes, what would it change for tomorrow? Nothing. So this is it's not, the, for me, it's not question uh, is, is absolutely okay for you to ask the question but there's no way I will answer it because I can only think until tomorrow evening 20, 20 hundreds to, to play this game. Like I said we have a big respect because we play against the leaders in Spain. We have, uh, we have uh, done an outstanding job in, in Bucharest. We have the advantage to have a home game at Stamford Bridge which uh, makes us very confident, which is very good for us because we don't have to travel. The, 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 the setup is, uh, is the usual setup. We, we, this, is, this, is, this is good for us. We feel, we feel happy to be in our hotel before, to, to, have, to have the same schedule like, like in, in normal games. This is very, very good. And um, we want to have, maybe this is the decisive the decisive uh, percentage even for tomorrow that is on our side. But uh, I'm very, very sure that we need another top performance, that we need to be very, very focused and concentrated. At the same time, we want to play a high intensity match because we are used to play high intensity matches and we want to be uh, hungry to score. Um, uh, and at the same time, and, and enjoy this competition and do what is needed to win a, a big match like this. And then for that, you have to, to play with hunger and uh, you have to play aggressive and, and uh, you have to play very, very high level as a team. And uh, this is the target for tomorrow. 
what happens in the, in the tournament and in the competition is out of our hands. We do what we can influence and this is the game tomorrow. Last question, Andy Dillon. Hi, Thomas. How are you? Good. Good, good. Um, I just wondered, I, I, I keep reading stories that uh, about Timo Werner. I keep reading that he's not happy. I keep reading that um, he may be on his way back to Germany. If I'd read it once, I'd Stop probably think it as speculation, but I, I keep reading it. So Stop reading. <laughs> I've only just learned. It's still a novelty. Stop reading. <laughs> read. Read a book. I'm reading a book on Timo Werner. Yeah, there is no, there is no, so there is no book on Timo Werner. So I read a book. <laughs> okay, I do when I'm uh, when I'm off duty. I do, but um, I just wonder if you could tell us, you know, just, is he happy? Are you? How confident are you? He'll still be at Chelsea next season um, because I keep reading stories that that he could be going in the summer, and that Chelsea have a history of. Strikers, you've not settled very well. And also, if I may just throw in at the end as well, just uh, your reaction really with Kepa not getting into the Spain the Spain squad and what, what that means for him and, and for Chelsea, please. For him, it's uh, pretty sure for Kepa it's a, it's a disappointment to not be selected right now. I just heard it some, some hours ago. Uh, yeah. That is clear, but uh, like I said before, he is super strong here. He is our player, and we cannot. It, it does not influence like like we work with him and how we trust him and if we trust him and and uh, how we how we how we keep on going. This is also this is personal goal to be in the squad of Spain. Would it be easier if he plays uh, on a regular basis? Yes, clearly yes. But it's not about his personal objective. It's about Chelsea. And uh, we have set the, the communication straight uh, between our goalkeepers that, that Edu is the number one and he's the competitor for that. And he has to be ready and I can just say he is exactly doing this. He is 100% reliable, top guy, top goalkeeping, top performance in, in training together with uh, Vili Caballero. This is outstanding. Does, does by the way, not, uh, not help our strikers uh, because it's... it's so super hard to score in training because of our goalkeepers uh, and then we end up with uh, maybe with Timo Werner. So this is what he can do. Can we influence the decision from the Spanish national coach? No, we cannot. Everything he can do is focus and be ready and this is what he's doing and that's why I'm super happy with that. Um, for Timo, well for Timo I, I think he has no reason now to be uh, to be frustrated because he did an amazing match against uh, Liverpool, uh, maybe his best match since I arrived. Um, then he had a good match against Everton with a lot of chances to score, which he normally is clinical enough and, and strong enough. He did not score. Okay, this sticks in a situation like this. Um, this can affect his self confidence. Yeah, of course, but. What does it help? I mean, I have to, uh, the, the clear advice from us is don't focus on the result, focus on the process, get your decision making right, get your technique right, take good decisions for the decision, take the right technique and the rest, the ball will do the rest and the ball and the, the opponent's goalkeeper will do the rest and, and then is in or he does an amazing save, okay. And he can improve from there, but uh, there, there, are no, there, there is simply no time to reflect on what is going to be in summer and next year and, and next year. There's simply no time. And uh, in the moment, I don't see why he should be frustrated. We gave him a little bit of time to breathe against Leeds. It was hard for him to come on, so it was not too much involved in the last 20 minutes because it was not our best game. But right now, I mean, I don't see why he should be too frustrated. Um, and, and honestly, it's like I said in an answer before, we are not here. Nobody here is blaming the strikers. This is a team effort to attack and this is a team effort to defend. And, but we, we, expect, uh, we expect our guys to create more chances, to, to be more decisive, yes, uh, because we expect the defenders to play on their highest level. So we expect also our strikers. And in the end, it's my responsibility to put them in the right mindset, in the right positions, to let them play regularly. And from there on we go, and then maybe all the all the stuff that you read will be hopefully disappear soon. Okay, that is the end of Thomas Tuchel, and after we will be on the same link, so don't leave this. And Tony Mudiga will be coming in to join us. Thank you. Thank you.